Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be looking at three-point turns. This is something that is fairly simple, but there are a few little bits whilst you're doing it that can be a little bit tricky, and I'm just going to give you a few tips that will hopefully make it a little bit easier for you. Three-point turns are something that you might have to do on the UK driving test, and they're something that you will do in every day today driving. Three-point turns are just something useful to be able to know and to be confident at doing, so stick around and I'll show you a few tips. A three-point turn, or a turn in the road as it's also called, is a manoeuvre that is regularly used in the UK driving test, but is also something that is very useful to know for driving in general. If you can't turn your car around without a specific turning space, you'll find yourself in sticky situations very quickly. The reason they don't call the manoeuvre a three-point turn so much these days is that you can do this manoeuvre in more than three points if you need to. It depends on the car, the camber and width of the road that you're doing it on. The test states that an extension of five turns can be taken if really necessary. The main points about the turn in the road are that you should avoid mounting the pavement or really touching it and the curb in any way. This is just to be safe and prevent damage to your car, which is fair. The basics of the three-point turn work like this. Firstly, you start near the curb in first gear with the handbrake up. Make your checks, mirrors and over your shoulders. When you're clear, get the biting point and hold it with a little bit of throttle. Release the handbrake and as you start to move forwards, very quickly get the steering lock on. Make sure to drive very slowly whilst you're getting the steering on as you don't want to be moving too quickly. As you get close to the curb on the other side, make sure you're covering the brake as if the camber dips down, you might start rolling towards the curb a little bit quickly. Once the curb begins to roughly dip under the wing mirror on your side, it may be different per car so you will have to practice this, then you can get stopped and get the handbrake on. Change into reverse and make sure to do those checks again over your shoulder as you don't want any pedestrians or cars creeping up on you. If the road has a lot of camber here, it will be like a hill start in reverse, but it's the exact same thing. Get a little bit of throttle, get the biting point, make those checks, and as you take the handbrake off, get the steering on very quickly and do the exact same, but in reverse. Once the curb gets near the bottom right corner of the window on your side, you can start to stop. Do the same again, get the handbrake on, make those checks into first gear, and get the steering on quickly, and then what you will do, if you've made the turn, you can then pull up on the left on the test, or if you're in the real world, just carry on your way. So the secret to a good turn in the road is a couple of things. Firstly, with each movement, you've got to move slowly and get the steering turned quickly. If you don't get the steering to full lock quickly, you'll find that you will run out of space fast and have to do more turns overall. Note that before you do too much steering, you should be moving very slightly to avoid dry steering. When you get to each stopping point, it can then be a good idea to apply the handbrake before you change gear to stop yourself rolling into curbs and keep control over your car. Though this is not 100% necessary if you feel confident. If the road has a lot of camber, it is a good idea to put the handbrake on at each stop, as you'll have more of a tendency to roll away into curbs and other cars. Make sure that before you begin any turns, that you carry out the standard checks and observations. Turning in the road takes a little while, and if someone approaches, either in a car or on foot, you should wait to see what they are doing. If they are obviously waiting, then carry on, but if they are trying to get past, then let them do so. Keep making checks over your shoulder and in the mirrors when you are turning too, as cars could approach mid-maneuver. Clutch control is really important when it comes to three-point turns. The maneuver will be mostly you hovering at the biting point, as you don't want to be going particularly quickly at any point. If you hover at the biting point with a little bit of throttle, this will give you time to make checks for anyone coming closer and prevent you from driving into anyone at speed. It's better you take your time than hit anything or cause any damage and get in people's way. Remember, just take your time and if any cars approach, don't panic. Most people will wait for you to finish the maneuver and if they are desperate to get past, then wait and let them get past. Thank you so much for watching the video today and let me know in the comments what you would like to see covered in future videos. Drive safe and have a good time.